All right. Hello, I'm PVTCB. Uh, this is System Shock. This is literally the best video game ever made. And uh, let's dive right into it. Three, two, one, go. All right, so I'm going to be starting picking up uh, stuff that's going to help me survive uh, the later levels. Also, I actually, uh, I fucked up. Uh, whoops. Uh, you actually have to kill yourself uh, with the skates active for this game to work properly and you for you being able to go fast. So, uh, you know, restart. Three, two, one, go. So, yeah, look how much faster we're going. Uh, so, I'm going to be picking up stuff that's going to make me uh, survive the next few floors. Uh, this pipe is our best friend for now. It's the only weapon we have. Uh, grenades are also our only weapon that we have. So, I'm going to apply a stamina patch, which is going to make us run like a Kita. Uh, if this mutant will get out of my way, I'll pick up grenades. I'm uh, going to pick up some mini patches here, and uh, doors don't exist in this game, so we're just going to clip through. Uh, that works because uh, when you save the game uh, while crouching and jumping, uh, the game kind of takes a shortcut with where your position is because you're actually two hitboxes at once, and it just assumes that both hitboxes are going to be through a surface, so uh, you can clip through it. It only works on something that has uh, an exit on the other side, though. So yeah, that's a, that's a scary guy. We're gonna grenade him, though. Also, this is Berserk. It makes our pipe hit very, very, very hard. And uh, these are jet-powered skates. So yeah, this is Jet Set Radio Future. So I'm gonna destroy those nodes so I can get off this floor. Hide in this corner for a bit. Hopefully it'll uh, de-aggro some guys. It did. Alright, well I died. Uh, however, uh, I expect that to happen because that section is freaking bonkers in a marathon setting. Uh, you basically have to hope you survive. Uh, I've looked very hard into uh, ways to make that more consistent so you don't die every time, but uh, you basically just have to grind for it. Uh, the alternative is something that's like three minutes lower. So yeah, so... Uh, yeah, now we're uh, off medical and we're on uh, science. The applaud this game is that Shodan went crazy, uh, and she's a space station AI, and uh, she's Cyborg. turned everyone into cyborgs and mutants and stuff like that. And now we got to stop her because it was all our fault that this happened. One sec. Come on. Come on. Sometimes uh, picking up things in this game is a little finicky. Uh, this game's from 1994, but uh, it runs on like space magic or something. Because this does not look like a game from 1994 in my opinion. Uh, these uh, mutants can drop random stuff. Uh, I got very lucky with another berserk drop. Uh, we'll see why that's good later. And another medipatch. Heck yeah. I uh, actually got a heal. Yeah, so uh, this is Reactor. Uh, we are going to stop Shodan's plan to uh, fire a laser in Earth. And uh, for whatever reason, Shodan's just got a massive grudge on her. She just wants to destroy humans. Cyborg uh, like I said, we have to stop her. Uh, so in addition to being able to clip through uh, walls and doors, we can clip through slopes. It's very nice. Radiation. Also, the uh, physics in this game are very special. Very, very, very special. Uh, yeah, so let me actually give a little bit of a run history of this game. Uh, I started running this game, I want to say, in... Why did that grenade not do anything? Whatever, we'll just shoot it. Uh, I started running this game in around 2015, and for a while the time was like... 33 minutes and then Enhanced Edition came out with Native Mouse Look and then the time dropped down to a more respectable uh, like 13 or so minutes. Uh, Fair, you might have seen Fairful Fair it's run of this game at SGDQ. He's a cool guy. Uh, he ever dropped this game as soon as he got done with his GDQ run, which is sad. And uh, I have been able to push this time down to something like 
a 10-12 off the top of my head. Anyway, we stopped Shodan's plan to fire a laser into Earth, but uh, she acts cocky and says, I knew what you were going to do anyway. Uh, she's a jerk. But yeah, uh, being able to clip through doors and stuff uh, saves a ton of time in this game. Uh, normally we'd be having to do a lot more side objectives, but uh, you know, screw doing that, this is a speedrun. Get up there. Yeah, so that's an EMP grenade. Uh, we just see funny things after we use it. Uh, it's used to destroy robots. There's three enemy types in this game. There's robots, there's uh, cyborgs, and then there's mutants. Uh, the robots are like the strongest ones. Also, this guy is an invisible mutant, uh, and given his name, he's hard to see. So I have to use my gun as a light. Uh, yeah, so... <sighs> Sorry, I lost my place. Uh, robots are sort of supposed to be the tough enemy, but uh, we picked up a really overpowered weapon called the laser right here, which is a lightsaber, and now we are just going to be invincible. Uh, because this thing one-shots every uh, enemy in the game except like a few, which it two-shots. But uh, we're not quite done with our pistol yet. We gotta... We gotta snipe this guy. Alright, so coming up is a section I could die on. So let's hope I don't die. Alright, we did it. Those three guys are sort of an ambush, and uh, if I get unlucky with uh, how I get bumped around, because uh, like I mentioned, the physics in this game are really wonky, and I'm on a pair of roller skates, and you really have to commit to your angles before you uh, even do anything. Uh, how did I die there? Hello? Alright, whatever. Uh, I should mention that I've been flipping these converter beds, and uh, even if I die on the floor, I as long as I flipped one of those, I will be able to respawn at the conversion bed. Uh, this one on executive, there are like 10 stations, 10 floors on the space station. Uh, it's very lean with itself. Anyway, I gotta get these guys to kill me because uh, I'm short of grenade. And uh, it's uh, very useful for traveling between places very, very quickly, because, you know, all you gotta do is die. Come on. Also, this game has the best elevator song in the world. It's, uh, it's so relaxing. It's so nice. Yeah, that guy's in my way, so I gotta kill him. Yeah, just look how wonky the movement of this game is. That being said, this is the greatest video game ever made. I'm not joking when I say that. I do consider this to be a pinnacle of game design and technology and all that good stuff. So pick it up when you can on Steam. It's 10 bucks. It goes on sale for like 250 pretty darn often. Anyway, we're supposed to be getting a key card here to uh, access this area, but that's really slow. And also I woke up all these guys. That's not good. So uh, we are... So we're just going to clip through the doors. Alright, we got a heal, which sucks, but uh, thankfully I know where backup health is. Door clips can be a little tricky. You gotta do them like right as you're going through the door so like one part of your hitbox goes through it, because your hitbox in this game is basically a giant snowman. Alright, I want these guys to hit me a little bit. Not too much though. There we go. Uh, because if you die in Beta Grove, for whatever reason, uh, you just instantly get a game over. But uh, not everything else. Anyway, uh, the reason why we're on the space station in the first place is Hacker Man, who is our character, uh, was trying to hack and he got caught. And a very corrupt executive, that guy, Edward Diego, said, Hey bud, uh, remove the ethical constraints on this AI so I don't get reported to the police and uh, we'll be all peachy. And, uh, and you know, my guy was like, all right. Anyway, that's Berserk, that was a boss. Uh, I killed him in one hit with my laser right here. Now we're gonna see funny colors. Shodan's gonna yell at us. Uh, we are going to eject uh, Beta Grove, which is the thing we were in earlier, so that Shodan can't cook up the super virus that would destroy Earth. And uh, this is how the Advanced System Shock 2 started. 
Anyway, that's uh, that's that's the grow jettisoned. Uh, I'm gonna die here and then respawn. And uh, we are coming up on uh, engineering. Engineering is supposed to have a very long quest that's involving several floors uh, to try and solve. But uh, you know, I guess how it ends because we can clip through stuff. All right, there's sometimes a guy there, so I usually check that corner. Where am I? I'm right here. Peekaboo. Yeah, so this is a big scary robot. He uh, dies in two hits with our lightsaber. All right, good. That door clip's very, very scary, and I don't have much health to go on. All right, this is a. Uh... A cyborg mutant, uh, we just juke him out, and because this game's AI likes to turn a lot, uh, and we have mouse look, and we turn very quickly because of that, uh, we can just deal with enemies very efficiently. Anyway, uh, this is security. It's supposed to be a giant gauntlet with no uh, respawn chambers. Uh, you can just skip all of it if I don't die. Uh, you're getting shot at by a lot of guys as you uh, go through that. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, we gotta take off our, uh, why am I not healing? Uh, we gotta take off our roller skates as they're climbing the sad. Also, we don't need our weapons anymore. Alright, so Diego's gonna spawn behind us and say, like, haha, gotcha. But, uh, we got him because we were able to clip through that door. And, uh, get to the bridge where Shodan's lurking. Alright, I don't think I'm going to die here, but I'm just going to pat my medi patches because I got no more use for them anyway. And uh, we have cyberspace now. Uh, this is Hackerman's uh, forte. Uh, it's very cyberpunk, as is this game. Uh, there's supposed to be this huge section of the game. It's unfortunately kind of gimped uh, because EA, the developer, thought it'd be too complex for uh, people. And uh, it's kind of like Descent. That's it. Anyway, that's Shodan. Uh, we're gonna, time's coming up soon. I'm just gonna fire a bunch of sh stuff at her and she's gonna blow up. Uh, she's gonna fill our screen with garbage and hopefully uh, we don't die. I'm pressing enter and right mouse button very quickly so I can get off a lot of shots. Uh, no, we unfortunately got the other email. Time. Anyway, it's finally over. Uh, Yeah, so uh, that's how Hacker Man saved the world. He uh, he goes back to hacking because uh, he doesn't like doing jobs. He's lazy. And also, uh, we're gonna get a, this nice cyberpunk zoom out here, and we're gonna see the layout of the city. Uh, surprisingly, uh, whoever is in charge of uh, Civil engineering uh, really sucks because they spelled out system shock on it and everything glows very, very brightly. So if you live on one of those letters or one of those lines, uh, you just, you, uh, you can't sleep. But you know, it is a cyberpunk feature. Anyway, the game's gonna be given the credits now. 11.21 in game time, that's not terrible. Hit escape to view the credits, looking glass technology, salt the fries, war inspector, you know, good stuff. Uh, and then the game just crashes because uh, it doesn't know how to deal with you exiting it, because they had never assumed that you want to play the game twice. Anyway, uh, that's System Shock. Uh